you really need to understand there are stages in your career and you have to think about where you are on the career spectrum. If you're currently at a thousand dollars a month and you try to pick a $10 million business, your odds of succeeding are slim to none because that business is way too sophisticated for your current level of experience. In this case, you need something that's simple and allows you to succeed without too much complexity. On the other hand, if you're at the $10 million level and you try to start a $100,000 a year business, the business in of itself will most likely succeed because you have more than enough experience and capital needed to get it to succeed. However, it will most likely never get to the scale that you want it to because that is a business that is below your experience level. And in this case, you need something that has a higher barrier to entry in order to prevent yourself having a lot of competition and something that allows you to scale to multiple eight and nine figures. And those nuances are all about career timing. Most people really don't understand this, but the business that you start to get to $100 million is not the same business that you need to get to $10 million in the same way the $10 million a year business will probably be a different business to the one that you make your first million, and that will be a different business to how you make your first $100,000. So ask yourself, which one is the business that you should start right now? And I know that 99% of people watching this are beginners. So your first objective should simply be to start a $100,000 business. That is roughly $10,000 a month. Now, going back to our original question of what we want to answer here, in your specific case, should you pick a product-based business or should you pick a service-based business? 